Tomorrow is a big day for local leaders in the nation's capital. Business, civil, and political le leaders will be gathering at Cap to Cap in D.C. It's an event to find new resources to improve the region. Fox 40's Joe Khalil is in Washington, D.C. tonight with a preview. Ali, the Cap to Cap program really starting to get momentum just today. We've got 12 teams, more than 350 people here from Sacramento, from the area. Uh, they met with each other today. In the next couple of days, they're going to be meeting with congressional reps here in Washington, D.C., that they wouldn't normally get to see back home in the Sacramento area, trying to get solutions to problems ranging from how we deal with our water quality and air quality all the way to homelessness and a number of things in between. Hopefully in the, in the next couple of days, we'll start to see some real progress. From the state capital to the nation's capital, this delegation, more than 350 strong, all working to improve some aspect of the Sacramento region. Doing great things for our, for our home community is really contagious and it's really incredible what we can get done when we work together. The Sacramento Metro Chamber's Cap to Cap program is divided into 12 teams, focusing on everything from health care to public safety to homelessness, which this year is Ryan Lufero's focus. All of us do, working on the same project together, um, it kind of forces us to be in the same room and really listen to what our priorities are. We are perfectly aligned with the, the mood in Washington, D.C. right now. Scott Shapiro co-chairs the flood prevention team. Like the others, his team will meet with members of Congress this week. This year, we have the Oroville incident, which just helps magnify the importance. He'll push for funding to fix dams and levees and try to cut costs for floodplain farmers. And the relationship you build with the members of Congress lets them understand it's important to our region and it's something they should be pushing for. Now, as we mentioned, uh, team members met with each other today. In the next couple of days, they're going to meet with their congressional reps, and that's where we're going to continue to pick up our coverage uh, of this cap to cap program and see what comes out of it uh, in this next week. Reporting in Washington, D.C., Joe Khalil, Fox 40 News. Thank you, Joe. Looking forward to your reports. And Fox 40's Cap to Cap conference coverage continues through Wednesday.